having that real high energy. I don't know what they are. <laughs> being the, So I'll go over them. It's being an active listener. It's building that trust. Yeah. It's being TV ready, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's knowing your industry trends and knowing about you know whatever whatever area that you're showing um, expertise to others. You got to have poise, right? Body language, you know, shoulders back, chin up, uh, and then building that network and staying connected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all those are really important. Totally agree. So we're going to move on to up credentialing, and that's really about securing. Your revelance. Revelance. Securing your revelance. You mean relevance? Yes, I mean relevance. Thank you. It's about securing your relevance and that you have something to offer to the current marketplace. Take it away, Shelly. Right. And what does that mean? I mean, right now we know that everything's really changing rapidly. You know, it's like things are moving in real time. So how do you make sure that your skills are up to date? And really, you know, you're prepared for today's marketplace. Right. And that may mean that you may have to do something extra. So it means that you may have to attend additional seminars or go uh, to workshops. I hate extra, Linda. I know. Extra. You okay. may have to get some new certifications because, you know, for your industry, if you want to show that you have expertise, you need those certifications. Yeah, but can I just talk about that little stuff, right? That new expertise, the certification, you know, for Shelly Shutton. You can do these things online. You can. So you don't have to go anywhere. You can literally just take a course online and get your certification. So it really is, it's pretty easy sneezy to do it. Yeah, but what you need to understand is you should research in your industry what are those hot things that people are looking for. You mean those little hot buttons? The little hot buttons. And what is it that you should get some expertise in to really make yourself distinct and, you know, being sought after? So it could be like right now everyone knows it's digital, it's e-commerce, it's mobile, it's all of that. Is there something in your industry field where if you got some, you know, training or certification in, it would really make a difference in whether or not they would uh, notice you and bring you into the company? And then you also, you know, I know we have to attend conferences, but again, you know, that's not my thing. But I would go with Linda. I would tag along. She would drag me and I would go. But it's a great way to keep current and really understand what the latest trends are. And at the same time, you get to meet people and really build your network. Now, attending conferences are probably very important if you really need to get out there and network and make sure that you're on top of things because those conferences will highlight those things that are important to the industry. And then you get an extra bonus. You get all these people, professionals, um, other peers that you can talk to and get ideas and engage in. Yeah, and one of the things, you know, that I think was pretty cool that our one of our, our listeners who came on, Joey B, talked about was when he went to either some networking or conferences, he said he always looked for the, a person that looked the most uncomfortable in a room, and that's who he would go and approach because he felt, I'm just as uncomfortable, but they seem like they're even more uncomfortable, and I probably can have a really good conversation with them. So you might learn a lot at a conference, but you also got to pick out that person that looks <laughs> like they're pretty uncomfortable and then go chat with them. So there are some ways that you can get some information about up-credentialing, and we recommend two. So the first one is, it's called The Industries of Tomorrow by Alec Ross. And the other one, Shelly, is? Uh, It's uh, Rise of the Robots, Technology and the Threat of a Jobless Future by Martin Ford. So it's also important not only to kind of go to conferences, take seminars, workshops, and all of that. Um, But it's also important to engage with other professionals who are already doing what you're interested in and making... So again, you get knowledge out of that professional, but also you get another connection. You get to expand your network. Yeah, plus you learn a whole bunch of shit. You know, they might know a whole bunch of stuff that you just don't know that would really be, like, whether it's hot words or you know hot phrases or components that are really compelling for somebody that's in that area right and we talked about this that the whole idea um, of up credentialing like doing all of these things the workshop seminars you know meeting with other professionals and all of that that it's not just about you gaining experience and something to put into your resume um, but also it really helps you broaden your network it really helps you get out there um, to to really build that essential network. And we're actually going to start a new podcast series on... Networking. There's about 55 episodes. I'm not sure of that, Min. Well, it seems like it's a lot. 
but there is a lot because it's a really valid, very important component for how you're going to get a new job. Right. So we're going to, hopefully you'll join us for our next web class on, on networking in the first series and in, in the podcast. But again, we would love to hear your stories and helpful hints on anything having to do with this episode or previous episodes. So one of the things, you know, we talked about was having our listeners write in and talk to us about certain relevant uh, pieces based on our episodes. And one of the things what we talked about today was the importance of dress. And Linda, what did one of our, our listeners write in about? So we actually had one of our listeners who actually is not over 50, um, but she's been finding our podcast very useful, is she asked about dressing when you leave work. Can you define yourself through your wardrobe, the importance of having a dress code or a uniform for yourself? And I think in this podcast, as we talked about earlier, is that that whole idea of being TV ready and being presentable and making sure that you look polished and finished off, it should reflect who you are and who you're gonna, what you're going to bring to the table. Yeah, I really don't want to you know, go out there and look like something that my cat just dragged in. So you, you should actually decide what is it is my everyday look or when I go to networking meetings or other events what is that what is it that I want to um, present to the world exactly Mm -hmm. and as always you can send in any of that feedback or information on our website www.over50andfire.com yes I can finally say it finally Um, and click on contact us or you can also post to our blog Also, all the resources we talked about, a few books, you can find them on our toolkit page on our website. Thanks Thanks for for listening. listening. Bye. Bye.